Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and this is um, part two of my November Patreon spreads. So we're going to be doing four spreads today. I know it looks like a mess right now, but we're going to be doing a monthly spread for Darla, and she wants it to be bookish themed. So we're going to be using the bookish sticker book. Um, then Kimberly wants a Joy to the World vertical spread. So we're going to be turning this into a cute Christmas spread. Amanda wants a big vertical ugly Christmas sweater plaid spread. I'm super excited about that one. And then Marisol wants a classic Grinch spread. So I got this fun green paper and I made some Grinch stickers. So I think we're going to start with the Grinch and then move through this pile. Um, one thing that I am going to go ahead and do before each video is I'm going to go ahead and cut the paper to be the same size as the classic paper and I'm going to cut the boxes um, to, and tape them on here. That just, I feel like it will help save time. If you're not sure how I do that, you can watch uh, past Patreon videos to see, but I just think that it will save some time and maybe help make this video not be so long. So four spreads in one, let's do this. Okay, so one thing I did not think about when I bought this green paper is I didn't think about the fact that the paper, the planner paper may not stick on it. That didn't even cross my mind. I just assumed this permanent adhesive would make it stick, but I'm not sure that it's going to be enough. So I'm gonna try and lay stickers down and maybe overlap them some to help it stay down. But if that doesn't work, then we might have to glue it down and I'm not sure how that would look but we're gonna just try it all we're just gonna try all the things okay let's see if we go do yes so like I honestly don't even know if these will stick to the sparkle paper Okay, it does look like the stickers are sticking. So I'm gonna kind of overlap them a little bit onto the page in hopes that it will just help secure the page. If it doesn't, I can always go get plain green paper and redo this spread for her. Um, since I made the Grinch stickers, it wouldn't be hard to just redo or to transfer to regular paper but I thought the green sparkled would be just I was like how fun is this we'll have to see if it actually works though these stickers are from my first sticker book that sticker book has sold out um so sorry to be a tease but they're really good for dating planners this way. Okay, so the next thing I think I'm gonna do is take this big, so I designed these stickers. I actually purchased these images off of Etsy and then I turned them into stickers. I'm gonna take this big Grinch and I really want him to go, see originally I was thinking he could go here but I almost feel like you're not gonna be able to see him very well. If I put him on green. So I wonder if I should put him on white. And then cut him out. Which is gonna be kind of annoying. I wasn't planning on doing that. Because if I was going to do this, I should have just printed him on white sticker paper and not, or just printed him on paper and not even put him on a sticker, but that's okay. We're going to be flexible and we're just going to cut him out. That paper was supposed to be for one of my other spreads. Whoops. It's okay though. So here I'm going to try and trim it right along the sticker line just because I don't want to have a ton of extra white. 
but I do think this is going to make him pop a little bit better. If I had thought about this, I would have just printed him on white paper stickers instead of a clear sticker, but I didn't think about it. Okay, so I might have another problem of him not sticking to the glitter. We shall have to see. Put a lot of sticky on him. And then I wanna put the Grinch right here. And then I'm gonna use this side and just really try to press him down. Here we might need some more sticky. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna take Cindy Lou Who and I'm gonna put her over here. kind of press that down okay so now they're like on opposite ends of the page then I'm gonna take the little reindeer dog I haven't watched the Grinch in a really long time so I don't remember the reindeer dog's name but I'm gonna put him over there by the Grinch okay and then I am going to take out some Christmas stickers and what I really want is just some like red colorful boxes but that might be asking for too much there are none in that book you know what might have red is wrong wrong She did have red and I used them all last year. That's probably why I remembered that she had red boxes. Okay, so that's not helpful. not gonna have red but what I could maybe do maybe I just make my own is that gonna be really bad I'm like nervous can I draw a straight line I don't think I can <laughs> okay let's just move on and we're gonna take this one it says Merry Grinchmas, which I think is cute. And I'm thinking that I'll put this one maybe like this. And then I can cut right along here. Oh my gosh, my exacto knife is killing me lately. Okay. Hmm, I really feel like I need some boxes. Maybe I just go with black. Because I do have like black here and the black outlines. One sticker there. We could put one up here. And we could put one down 
here. And then this one, it says, maybe Christmas he thought doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more. So I'm going to put that one right here. Um, this one I think is cute. It says naughty, nice, I tried. I don't really think that I want to put another Grinch on because I kind of want my big Grinch to be like the main Grinch. So maybe if we cut him off and we could just put this right here as like a quote sticker. See how this page is lifting? I think I'm gonna have to end up gluing this down like with a hot glue gun and I don't know how that's gonna mess up the pages. All right, I have this Grinch. Um, this is again when I wish y'all could talk to me. Like is putting another Grinch face taking away from this Grinch? Kind of feel like it is. This one says believe. So maybe we at least put this right here. I think that's cute. I don't remember who this was for. This is for Marisol. I was like, who is this for? Okay, so I am going to make a little note. I always like to write them a note thanking them for being a patron. So Marisol's will go here. Okay. And then I'm, I could add like some checklist stickers, but I think I'm going to leave it like this because uh, I may have to redo it if it peels off the paper. Um, so next I'm just going to take this, slide it in here and punch it and then take this, slide it in here and punch it. And I got... I will have to let you guys know what I end up, if I end up having to glue this down or if y'all have any suggestions on like what will help this stick to the glitter before I ship it to her, let me know in the comments. Okay, so that's our first spread and now we'll move on to the next one. Okay, this spread is for Kimberly and she wants a classic vertical and she wants it themed um, joy to the world. So she said that's her favorite Christmas carol and so I also love that Christmas Carol. It's probably one of my favorites too. And so I went ahead, I chose this plaid paper just because I think Buffalo plaid is like a great Christmas pattern. And then what I was thinking of doing is kind of lettering like some of the lyrics and using some of these manger stickers from the Holiday Memory book. I've already used the one that actually has Baby Jesus, but... I could still create a little bit of the scene using these. So we can put the three wise men, which interesting, it's always funny to me that they're included in the manger scene because they didn't actually show up until Jesus was like three, I think. I actually wonder if I could leave this space open right here and go to Michael's tomorrow. I might actually leave it open for now and go to Michael's tomorrow and see if they still have this book because if they do, then I could buy, um, I could buy it just for that one sticker. So I 
feel like that book is probably not at Michael's anymore, but you never know. So we got the angel up there. Now, I kind of, you know what I could do? It would involve me pausing this video, but I'm kind of thinking it could be cute to letter joy to the world. The Lord has come and cut it on my Cricut and red vinyl and then lay it over here and just let it be really big. I think I'm going to do it. So I'll be back. I went ahead and lettered this on red vinyl. The reason I did it on red vinyl and not just on the paper is because it's going to be hard to make red show up against black, but when it's vinyl, it's going to pop really, really well. And so I went ahead and lettered it and weeded it. And then I'm going to take this transfer tape and I'm going to lay it on top of the vinyl. And I'm going to put it on here. If you're interested in this graphic and you want me to make you a vinyl decal of this, let me know in the comments and I can look into adding it to my Etsy shop. So then I can take it and kind of lay it like this. And so then now you're going to have to be a little bit careful that you don't rip the paper from the transfer tape. And I mean the paper underneath. Sometimes if the letter doesn't come off all the way, you can just take it and keep rubbing it a little bit more. See, look how cute that looks. I think that just like pops so much better than if I had tried to write on the actual paper. Okay, and so then I really wanted the manger scene, y'all, so I found it and I turned it into my own sticker. Now, I wanted it to be really big, so I purposely printed them to be bigger than the other stickers because I really wanted them to be like the main focus. I'm trying to decide if I should cut Joseph off and put him over here. I kind of feel like I maybe should. So I'm just going to take my scissors. I probably should have done this before I ripped the sticker off. because then I can put Mary like this and Joseph sorry Joseph you're a little separated but just but just by the discs it's only the disc keeping you from Jesus <laughs> look and now we have her thing joy to the world the Lord has come with the manger scene I think it's perfect like just like this honestly I would be like okay I'm done but I feel like that might be frowned upon if I didn't do anything else. So I'm going to add in some functional stickers. So like maybe over here, this can be the sticker where I write a note to her. To me I would write on this spread with a red pen to help bring in the red that's over here a little bit more so if you're watching this Kimberly use a red pen <laughs> okay then I'm gonna put a checklist sticker here and another checklist sticker here I'm going to leave it undated so that she can use this whatever week she wants to in December. Okay, so that's really cute. So I'm going to punch it, add her note, and then this spread will be done. I love how it turned out. Okay, so our next spread is for Amanda, and she wanted a big-sized plaid ugly Christmas sweater spread. So I picked this plaid paper at Hobby Lobby. I went ahead and set up the pages because I'm trying to save time, and then I wanted to have actual Christmas sweaters to put on the spread. So I took, I bought an extra sheet of this paper and I found a sweater SVG file and I cut the sweater and they just looked like this when I cut them. They didn't have any of the accents and I thought it just looked kind of plain, 
Um, so I actually cut white paper to do the trim and I colored it with a highlighter just to kind of add a fun pop of color. But I was thinking that I could put one over here and maybe one over here, but I kind of, should I put the yellow down there? I don't know. I kind of like the yellow more over here. So then I'm going to grab a piece of paper. Um, that's that sticking stuff on it. Just so I can run. runner. Okay, so I think I'm going to put this one down here. We kind of have some sticky showing there, so I'm just going to rub it off. Okay, and then I'm going to do that again. turn it like so then I think I want to say there's a sticker that says ugly Christmas sweater party or something but maybe not I so on this one no This one has stickers that kind of match. So this says peace on earth. And I feel like it kind of has the same colors. So I'm gonna add that. This is technically a classic sticker, but I think it still looks cute to put it in the middle like that. And then this one says peace and joy. I'm actually gonna stick it right here and layer it on top just to cover that sticky part. And you know what? You honestly could I honestly could have put it in the middle of the sweater. <gasps> it made it look like the design on the sweater. Look how cute that is. I still have this awful sticky part that like turned black, but maybe I can just scratch that off like so. Oh my gosh. I love this idea of putting that. Okay. So what's going to go on this one? This bird would be pretty ugly. I mean, it's a cute bird, but putting it on a Christmas sweater. Jingle and mingle. That would be hilarious on a sweater. Jingle and mingle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I love this sweater even more now. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. All right. This says naughty or nice. I think that's kind of a fun sticker for this spread. So we'll put naughty or nice. And then I'm gonna pull out another Christmas book. Could we spell out ugly Christmas sweaters? And if we can, I feel like this sticker needs to go. Okay, I'm going to use these letters to spell out ugly Christmas sweater. This may take me a little while, so I'm going to speed this part up. Okay, I think that just kind of like adds, I think that's cute. I think it adds to that. Then I can take this one that says eat, drink, and be, or this one, spread some cheer so that I have those same letters. And we could put it, I kind of like it up here so that it's opposite of these, but then it's right next to these words. So maybe we just, maybe we just put it here. Okay. You also could have done a 
Christmas spread with this one, but she specifically requested plaid, so plaid is what I'm doing. Let's see, I'm just trying to see, maybe we could add some checklist stickers. So we could put one there. I'm going to layer this one. Actually, I'm going to layer it like this. Okay, that's cute. Now I really want to do a Christmas sweater spread for myself because I think this is so funny. Okay, for these, I'm going to start this up here, but it's short because it's technically for a classic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one in the same color and I'm going to cut off the top two, the top one with the design, and then I'm going to layer it. Boom. Now I have a long one. And then we could do that over here. Maybe with the green. here and I'm gonna cut this all right now I have a long one okay I think it's cute and then I'll add a sticker over here for me to write a note and I'll punch it and then this one will be done. Okay, so the first three spreads in this video were Christmas themes. This one is not. This one is a bookish theme for Darla. She gave me, she wants a monthly view and she gave me some specific things that she wants on her monthly view. So I'm gonna be using the bookish and appointment sticker book and I really wanna make this divider be a bookish theme as well. So what I'm gonna do, I, I did this in my last video um, my last Patreon video, but I thought I was filming and I wasn't. So I wanted to show y'all here how I cover the divider. It's super easy. So I just take my paper trimmer and I line it up and then I cut the paper to fit that way. And then I cut it fit this way too. Now normally I would do this with a patterned paper so that it was a super cute patterned paper, right? Well, I want this to be a bookish paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this white paper. This is a pretty thick um, computer paper so it won't show the leopard through. But I am going to lay this down. And then after I decorate the monthly spread, I'm gonna come back to this and I'm gonna decorate this divider to be bookish too. The reason I wanna do it last is I wanna make sure it coordinates with whatever I decide to do on this side. And I wanna be sure if there's like certain stickers that I want that I don't put them on the divider first. So Darla wants a bookish spread and she has a few appointments. Um, that we need to note. So I'm going to start with her appointments, I think, or maybe I should start with a book sticker just so that we know the colors. That might actually be a better idea. So 
over here I'm going to take this sticker. It says no one is too old for fairy tales. And I think this would be a good place for Darla to track her reading for this month if she wants to. Or she could track whatever. But I'm, I'm thinking it could be a good reading list over there in the corner. And then I really want a book sticker. So like that one says I like big books. I kind of just want a stack of books. But I can't remember if I've used... Nope, there's the perfect one. So, I'm going to take this stack of books. And I'm going to put it over here. Oh, but maybe... Maybe I want to put a quote. Does she have anything on the 28th? She does not. So, this one says the world was hers for the reading. I'm going to put this down first and then I'm going to put the stack of books next to it like that okay now I'm going to fill in her appointments first I'm going to do I think some of the smaller appointment stickers so she has an appointment on the second so I'm gonna put this one here kind of want to scoot it down a little bit so you can still see the date okay and then if we could do like a lavender how many appointments does she have one two three four five one two three four five so maybe we jump to the green one next her next appointment is on the third Okay, her next appointment is on the 11th and I want it to be yellow. So I'm trying to follow these colors over here and the, the, it's the same colors that are over here too. So then her next appointment is on the 17th and it should be orange. I love this appointment book coordinates with the bookish book. It's like perfect for what she wants. And then her last appointment is on the 19th, which should be like a pinkish color. Okay. Then she has three book club days, which are actually the 17th, 19th, and 24th. So she has two appointments on these days. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to notate that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this sticker, it says appointment, but I'm gonna use it for book club. We're gonna lay this one here This one, I don't really want it to cover up where it says 20th. So let's make it smaller. And then the 24th. Actually, be really cute. On the twenty fourth, is if I put this book stack, maybe like this, and then layer this. See, like that's what I really wanted to do for all of the book clubs, but I didn't realize they were the same day as her appointments. 
but I could just go ahead and put another one over here. And then I'm wondering if I put one here, that may be too much. Okay, and then on the 5th, it is her birthday and it is her son's birthday. So, this one I almost want to put I don't, I, I don't want it to cover the date. But I also don't want it to cover the day of the week. So. I'm going to put that there. Then I almost want to cover I almost want to cover the inside. Is that like super obvious? The reason that I even put that sticker down, you might be wondering like, well, Heather, why did you even put the sticker down if you're just gonna cover it? I wanted the yellow outline because I wanted the birthday to pop. I wanted it to have color, but I don't necessarily want those words. So I think I am gonna do this. Then I could take out my colorful words. I'm pretty sure I'll have the word birthday in here. This book is not sold out. This book is still available on my Etsy shop if anyone wants to go. It's almost sold out, but not quite. Okay, so then I can put this birthday sticker down like that. And then she can write in the birthday information there. Okay, I think this is cute. This was actually really fun. I love that she told me her appointment so that I could like actually plan for them. Okay, so now I wanna go back to this and I wanna decorate this to be a bookish cover. So I've got some chairs got some coffee I think I'm going to take this sticker that says I like big books I'm gonna put it in the middle And then we could put Dreamer. And Book Lover. Okay. So now, I 
add in this bookshelf. And this bookshelf. I could put in some of these, let them go off the page. I feel like if you let it go off the page, it looks more like this was designed to look this way. So have some books going off the pages. We could even take these and like put them in another spot. That's probably too small to worry about, but um, then I can take this green one and maybe have it go off like this. And then I could put a chair or two. So maybe put one here and maybe put one here. See, it's starting to look like this page was designed this way. Um, we can put a coffee mug here and a coffee mug here. And a coffee mug going off the page over here. The handle of that mug maybe over here. We could put in a few of these rainbow stickers if we wanted to just kind of add in I kind of feel like that has a sticker underneath it. What is that? There. we kind of need one over here. Okay. Plant lady. Apparently plant ladies have something to do with reading. I don't know. <laughs> Pop a few plants in. Maybe put one up here. Oh, some of these stars could be cute just to help fill in some of the empty space. Okay, I feel like this is pretty much done. Look how cute that is. So that's how you can make your own divider and then I'll just repunch it and it matches the inside. I love it.
And then she'll just have to, I'll just probably cover this. I'll probably put a sheet of paper there for her. So cute. All right, so in this video, just as a recap, this is for Darla. And then we had the ugly sweater for Amanda. We had the joy to the world for Kimberly. And we had the Grinch for Marisol. So let me know in the comments which, which spread you liked best. Um, and come back tomorrow for part three. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And happy planning.